te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? When you learn a language, you want to actually use it. Fabulous design. Morning, everybody. In just three weeks, we're starting to have conversations in Spanish. Gracias, Babel. Babel, language for life. Start learning a new language today at Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Susan, it's so great to finally be able to get together again. Oh, it sure is. And I really appreciate okay. you picking up the bill. I'm happy to. I've got the extra cash. Since we've all been driving so much more again, I've been using Upside, the free app that pays you cash back for every gallon of Morning, Scotty. Wait a minute. Are you saying you actually... It's minus eight or nine here. What's it in Oklahoma? Yes, I get real cash back just for buying the gas I was going to buy anyway. But is it a hassle to use? No, it's super fast and easy. And I can cash out whenever I want. That's a total... KRNT Des Moines. Free Upside app now. 1350 ESPS. Des Moines Sports Leader. Check. One, two, three, check. Man, we got a hodgepodge of stuff to talk about today. It's all over the place. Nine degrees, you lucky devil. That's cool for down there. Yeah. Ready? I'm on two. All right, welcome to this week's edition of the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. Hope everyone's having a great Saturday all across the good old U.S. of A. Show's brought to you in part by our good friends out at Three Rivers Boat and RV Storage. And I'll tell you more about them guys here in a second. We got a lot to talk about here in the next two hours. Dustin's running the boards. If you want to call in and say hi, Good all, morning. You, all you got to do is just uh, 244 1350, 244 1350, area codes 515. And we'd love to have you call in. Andrew is on assignment somewhere. No, no, what he's doing. Don't, I don't know what he's doing. He could be sleeping as far as I know. Uh, Partner of the week is Work Sharp Sharpeners. If you want to stay sharp in the outdoors, make sure you got Work Sharp work Sharpeners around the house. Thanks to everybody at Work Sharp. We appreciate you. Scotty in Oklahoma is watching us on Facebook Live. The live stream is brought to you by the fine folks over at Imperial RV Centers in Ankeny. Thanks to Denise and Zach. They've been with me forever. Good folks. And if you need an RV... Need something done on an RV? Go see uh, Denise and Zach at Imperial RV in Ankeny, and they'll take good care of you. Hey, uh, Three Rivers Boat and RV Storage. That's where I store all my stuff. And I'm telling you, they're very, 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 very nice, friendly, and reasonable. 60 bucks a month gets you one month free if you pay for the year in advance. You get a 12-foot by 50-foot spot. That's huge. Uh, secure gauge 24-7 security cameras. The place is always clean, and you can get in and out really quick. If you need... Uh, so a place to store your stuff, give Tracy, Dick, or Danielle a call at 515-822-1362 and tell them Outdoors Dan sent you if you would. I'd appreciate that. All right, we got a lot to do this morning. Good morning, Fishing Dave. How are you? Fishing Dave, I think Denny Brower's on next week, I think. It's either next week or the week after. I got Denny Brower and uh, I got to get Jason Mitchell on talking walleyes and Brad and the gang talking crappies here. Morning, Jeff. Did you look up Pigman in New York? I did, Jeff. Thank you. That's uh, we we were doing unknown files, folks, on Wednesday night. The sh that, uh, that show is back on seven o'clock Wednesday night on the Outdoor Call Radio uh, Network. And uh, Jeff was uh, listening to the show, and he goes, "Have you heard about Pigman?" And I said, "No." Morning, Tony. I'm gonna have to look up Pigman. Yeah, it's a uh, it's uh, my interest. Yeah. All right. First thing I'm gonna do. I had a bunch of people there. I, I don't know why I've been telling everybody for two, three years now. Awesome. Love hearing the Shaw last week. Shaw did a good job last week. All right. So this is uh, the the Facebook page where we live stream is the Outdoor Call Radio Facebook page. That's not the app. I'm getting some people confused because we just I just did a big drawing last uh, this morning. Last night was the last time you could enter. Um, so I'm going to go through everybody on Facebook Live right now. So here's the app. Okay, this is what the Outdoor Call Radio app looks like. If you go to if you if you're watching me on Facebook, this is where it's at right now. So you can 
You can listen. It's free to listen. You go to your app store, whether you got a Google phone, an Android phone, or an iTunes phone, and you just you go look up the Outdoor Call Radio app. That's all you got to do. That's what it looks like, and you download it, and you got boom, you're done. And all you got to do is just turn the app on, and it should start playing. If it doesn't, there's a little play button down there. You hit play. Every day is going to have three or four shows for you to listen to that's outdoor related, okay? And that's where all the contest stuff is. And I tried to make it easy. Larry and I were talking about this the other day, you know, about different contests to do and and stuff. And I think the most popular seems to be where I just have people listen Monday through Friday and just t- uh, just take a screenshot of a show that you're listening to and email it to me. And then I got a file email file folder that I put you in and then at the end of the contest time I write everybody's name down that entered and then I do a random number selection I've got a little program on my computer and I'll take a couple dice and I'll roll the dice and whatever number comes up 9, 15, 12 that's how many times I'll hit that random number generator and I put say like I have uh, 100 people that enter so I'll put number from number 1 to 100, and then I hit that random generator, whatever the dice tells me to do it. That's the fairest way I can do this and, you know, make sure people win, okay? And uh, so the screenshot thing, I you know, I used to have them do different things, and people, I don't think, I don't think people really want to mess with a lot of stuff, Dustin. I think they just want to be able to enter and get in. and But I want them to listen to the app to win. Yeah, that's the... That's, yeah, that, that's how you win, right? That's the only way we're going to grow this. Uh, the app. And the thing is, it's an outdoor radio station. It's the only outdoor radio station in the country where you can listen to this. And it's 24 hours, seven day a week, outdoor hunting and fishing shows. Yeah, it's awesome. The, you have it anywhere now. Yeah. Phone, there you go. Yeah, you can take it anywhere with you. And eventually... The, all my shows, including this one, will be only on the app. I've been I, I've got to wait till I get to a certain amount of people that have downloaded it and listen every week before I can pull off regular radio because I got to take care of my partners. You know, sponsors want to make sure you got numbers. You yeah. know, so that's why we're still doing regular radio, and I appreciate ESPN and giving us a platform. Um, but uh, we definitely need you to keep downloading the app and listening and. I got it this morning. Yeah, D- hey, Dustin, put it on this morning. Please tell your friends and get it on there. Um, Larry says I should start charging to do that. I don't want to do that. Um, I'm 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 not a greedy guy. I, I own every I own all this, and uh, I have to go out and sell it, promote it, host it, do all the work. But I don't want to charge you to listen to me. One, I wouldn't pay to listen to me. I got to listen to me as enough as it is. But I, I've always wanted the the shows to be fun, entertaining, and and not cost you anything, but actually give you a chance to win something. That's you know, and I think that's why we've been on for twenty six years. You know, been that long. That's twenty six. Awesome. This is our twenty six year on the radio. Yeah. So uh, anyway, that's the thing. So the Facebook page is not the app. You got to go download the app. Steve Martin, good morning. Uh, love Shaw's interview last week. Thanks for having me on. You betcha, Steve. And Jeff, good morning. Chris, good morning. We are out enjoying the good of Lord's uh, AC. <laughs> I'm trying to learn it all. That's all right, Jeff. You know, help. I'm going to be 60 next month. You don't. You. You. you I got to. I had to learn how to do all this stuff. It's not a lot of fun. I got a third grade education. It's not easy. I would have went to the fourth grade, but I couldn't fit in the desk anymore. You know, it's hard when you're 26. Yeah, yeah, Dude, that can be. They don't make desks that big. Definitely not. It was a struggle my last two years of school. You know, after you get 20, you can, you get you can't hardly yeah. squeeze in the yep. desk anymore. Anyway, but uh, that's that's the thing on the app. Okay, all right. So, uh, <laughs> who's heard of Turnpike Troubadours? I was. I have heard yeah, of them. Have you? Yeah. I never heard of them. I was I, t- I got in a truck this morning to come to the radio station, and I turned on Outlaw Radio. That's what I had on the way in as well. Outlaw? Yep. Yeah, I like Outlaw Radio on, on Cirrus. And uh, Turnpike Troubadours came on. I said, uh, now that's kind of snappy. I like that. They're good. Yeah, they've they're played out of, in town before a few times. Have they? Yeah, I've never saw them. 
You know, I'm still stuck in the 80s and stuff. I mean, I, I listen to more country than do anything, but, you know, if I listen to rock and stuff, it's more uh, in the 80s. Larry's got me listening to stuff that I've never heard before. Like, I never heard of, uh, you're going to laugh at this, folks. Um, what's the one that, uh, oh, gosh darn it, let me look at my playlist, because Larry had me... Uh, From the 80s or more? Well, Larry when, Larry and I, when Larry and I went to Pennsylvania two years ago, you know, that's such a long drive. Yep. That's all we listened to was music. Yeah. Larry is Larry's a music servant. Larry from Respect mm. the Game TV. He's a he. This guy knows uh, morning Pete, the Donut Man, Ariadne. Good morning, James. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Rick. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, he just knows his music, and he he knows a lot of these people personally because oh. he used to film in Nashville. Oh, cool! I suppose yeah. he does know a lot. Yeah, he re he really does. So uh, he uh, um, oh what. Uh, what is the name of that band? Nickelback. <laughs> I've never heard of Nickelback. I'm sorry. I'm stuck in the <laughs> '80s. Kansas Sticks, REO. They're kind of a joke band, I, I guess. Well, they're actually—I actually kind of like them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but Larry's got me listening to Nickelback and Jelly Roll. And Jelly Roll. I don't Jelly really Roll and, and wow, impressive. Uh, yeah. Uh, who's uh, Who's the other guy that he's got me? Uh, uh, oh gosh, darn it! Uh, playlist. Uh, let me go to my country. Country, he has me. Har uh, Hardy, I was kind of, I knew who Hardy, Hardy was. But uh, Parker McCollum, I really like him. Uh, Chris Stapleton. So I'm listening to some newer stuff lately. But. Those are all great artists. But that Turnpike Troubadours is going to be on my playlist. There you go, add it on. Yeah, there's some good stuff on the outlaw. Yeah. Sure. Good morning, Naked Buckhead. Good to see you. So anyway, I just thought that was kind of funny. Uh, let's see. Oh, I did the Pledge of Allegiance this week. I just did a post with me just saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I did that yesterday. I've over, I've got over, I don't know how many views now. It's a couple hundred views already. I don't know anybody. Does anybody know, the? does everybody know the Pledge of Allegiance anymore? I'm not sure I could get through it. I mean, I did it all through school. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. How can that offend anybody? I guess I do. I did remember that. I, it's, yeah. Uh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I, if you get offended by that, you're the problem. Yeah. I'm sorry. There's, I, I, you know, breakfast has not been the same since I, ha I don't have Aunt Jemima anymore. I mean, I'm I'm just getting tired of all this stuff. What's her name now? I don't know. I don't I don't buy the product. You know, I just, you know, I told everybody three or four years ago we quit talking politics, and I told everybody I was going to keep my promise on that, and I have pretty much. But some of this stuff has just got to stop. It's getting stupid. If you can't say the Pledge of Allegiance without getting offended or somebody getting offended, that's that's on you. To who's ever offended? Yeah. All right, that's enough of that stuff. How you doing, Dustin? I'm doing great. How are things at the iCubs? So you've been you and Andrew and everybody staying busy? Yeah, yeah, we have been. Um, obviously, a lot of snow removal the last uh, ten days or so. Um, we have a lot of property we're in charge of, and went well. But we're we're getting ready. We're down to I think seventy five days. Hard to believe it's ten below out. We'll be playing baseball here April April second. So. Yeah, it'll be coming quick, huh? Yeah, it doesn't take long. As soon as February hits, it's what do you what do you guys do at the ballpark with all that snow? Is there any you can't really do anything, can you? Uh, we got some pretty big piles. We push outside in the parking lot, but then inside we do snow blowing where we walk. But otherwise, we just it's a it looks like a hockey rink out there right now. If yeah. We, uh, if we have to, we'll move some of the areas where the drifts are as we get closer to um, April. But you know, Andrew and I were talking about having a 3D archery shoot at the ballpark. Yeah. Let's set it up. Yeah, I think Let's that. Yeah, how many of you out there? Give me a thumbs up if you would go to Principal Park where the I Cubs play at the ballpark and go and shoot your bow at wow. a 3D course. We're uh, looking right at behind, on top of the dugouts and up in the up in the second and third levels. Man, have, man, can you imagine the angle on that shot out at 40 yards? You know, we'd have to set it up where it'd be safe. Yep. You know. But uh, I think that'd be kind of a lot of fun having a 3D shoot at the ballpark. Yeah, let's pick a weekend where we're out of town and we can get something. Get something Wait, what do you think, folks? Give me a thumbs up if you want to go shoot your bubble uh, where the I Cubs play. Good morning, Steve. 
Uh, yeah. Steve uh, Scarcelli, my New York buddy, says he's with me 100%. Thank you. Tell the Godfather I said hi. Are you doing an ice report? Uh, it's cold out, Jeff. There you go. There's your ice. You know, I didn't. I did not get any fishing reports today. I didn't see the fishing reports. I got. I got a bunch of DNR numbers. I'm, I'm going to tell you about all the licenses that were were purchased. I got some other info to tell you, and uh, yeah, we'll get into that. We got plenty of time. So. I love ice fishing, but I don't even know this week. I'm not. I'm not going out. Fishing. You like to fish. All right, now people are going to think I'm crazy about this. I did not, again, thanks to social media, this is the only way I found out about this. And I'm not making this up. I, I promise you. Here, I took a screenshot of it, or a picture of it. Uh, let me see. Here it is. Toilet fishing. Fishing, it's a fishing game to, to you for you to play while you're doing your business. Huh. I'm not making that up. Now, Look I'm sorry. That's... that's going that's getting a little crazy. Would you would you play toilet I mean, I don't want to fish while I'm going doing my business. Some people have to do it all the time, I guess. Yeah. I, I'm just sorry, but no time I, I'm not, that is a real thing. I I just I think we've I think we're in trouble, folks. <laughs> you said your birthday's coming up, you want that. Okay. I do not Jenny, I do not want toilet fishing for my birthday. Good morning, Blaze. Uh, nope, no toilet fishing. Fishing Dave says he draws a line at toilet fishing. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I just wonder if that actually sells. Who would buy it? It's got to be a gag gift. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, who would do that? Maybe it's fun. <laughs> you don't always have to do it while you're on the toilet, though. Uh, I, I mean, I, mean, I, that's what Field and Stream and Outdoor Guide and all the magazines are for, Right. Yeah, reading material. Yeah, that that makes more sense. I yeah. would rather do that than fish while I'm doing my business. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, folks, if, if you're eating breakfast. But I just I saw that the other night, and I said, I got to talk about that on the show. That's crazy. Charlie, good morning. Charlie, let me tell you about Charlie Monday, everybody. Charlie's at Grandview University, the home of the Vikes. Mm -hmm. He is their uh, shooting uh, director, coordinator, v VIP. I, I don't know exactly what his, what his title is. Coach. Uh, and uh, they've got a world-class shooting uh, traps team. Oh, now they're putting an archery team together. You want to go to college for free? You want to get a scholarship to go shoot your bow and learn at Grandview? Charlie's looking for student-athletes. If you can shoot a bow and want to be on the archery team, and thanks to my buddy Skip at Gearhead, I got Gearhead Archery out of Wisconsin helping out the kids at the uh, Grandview. And uh, Flex Fletch is going to help them out and give them uh, a big discount on veins and everything uh, for being on the shooting team. Isn't that cool? That is really cool. Yeah, I think I that's cool. I didn't realize cool. Grandview right here in town had had that. Well, they got a new they got they bought a they bought a grocery store and they're turning that into wow. a, 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 a archery facility. What a great idea! Yeah, that's really cool. Now that's a huge facility, a grocery yeah, store. That's yeah. yeah, you can have Olympic events in there and yeah. everything. I mean, that's kind of cool. Well, we can also have one of their events on at the ballpark. Maybe I'll have to talk to him at some point. Uh, Charlie, uh, uh, Dustin says if you want to do something at at uh, Principal Park with the kids, uh, he's call him and Andrew and they'll work it out. Yep. Come on over. We'll get it figured out. Yeah. Now, see, I, I'm serious about that. Well, we need to have a 3D shoot at the ballpark. Yeah. Because I'm sure some of the players, if they were in town, they would jump a lot all over of those that. Guys are they got they they go out there and shoot their bows, don't they? Yep. Yeah. They mean they're they play during the summer and their off season is, is hunting. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's what and a lot of ball players hunt and fish. I don't know how many times I've seen guys down by the river fishing. Yeah, there's quite a few of them go down there. Yeah, yeah that's a that's a hot spot to catch some fish down there. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Uh, Charlie says we're in. There you go, Charlie. Sounds good. We'll, we'll talk down the road. We'll get it set up. Mm, that's a good thing. All right, so everybody say the Pledge of Allegiance. I thought about doing a contest where you you do the you do the uh, Pledge of Allegiance, share it on social media, and tag me in it, and then that way I'll see it, and then do a do like a con. I might do that around the Fourth of July. We might do a Pledge of Allegiance contest. What do you think? Good idea. I think so. I think I mean every every week should be the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, I tried to get a hold of Dirk over at Flex Fletch. He's not. They must be at a trade show or something. I can't get a hold of him. So, Dirk, where you at? You're AWOL. Um, I started doing the Healthy Herd for 2024, 
And uh, that's brought to you by the fine folks at Backwoods Premium Wildlife Products. And uh, we're talking about food plot mixes to get everybody up and running on the, the different mixes and stuff for the spring. So we're actually going through, we do like three mixed seeds or seed mixes a, a week. So that'll start airing on Monday on the Outdoor Call Radio app. The, uh, or I'm sorry, that'll be on next Friday on the Outdoor Call Radio app, the Healthy Herd with uh, Ben and I. So it's getting close. We used to say the Pledge of Allegiance every morning in school. Dave, there's a lot of things we used to do at school. We used to be able to take our guns to school and work on them and shop. I took my shotgun and redid my stock in school. Nobody ever got hurt. No, nothing ever happened. Uh, you know, because people used to be held accountable for their actions. Different, t different time. Yeah. yeah. Pe you know, that's what we need to do. I I noticed the new quarters didn't say in God the new in God we trust. Well, I said in God we trust Pete. They, they, was he saying the new the new quarters? Yeah, uh, yeah. The new the new quote or the oh and the new quarter quarters. Yeah, they took I'm it off the money. I haven't seen one to be able to look. I didn't. I didn't see that. Well, that that just figures. Yeah. I can look that up. Yeah, that's all right. I'm telling you, I'm getting sick of it. Uh, let me take a real quick break. We come back. I got some DNR stuff to tell you about. Uh, told you about the plug. Told you about the fishing bathroom game. Told you about the healthy herd. Talked about the turnpike turnpike troubadours. Uh, so I think I'm all cut up. Uh, I'll be right. I will announce the winner. We had the secret listener contest on the app. I'll announce that when we come back on 1350 ESPN. These are very important to your Aero Flight and for consistent grouping. Flex Fletch and its fine lineup of products has been... What's everybody doing today? It's cold. be a great day to fletch arrows or put fishing line on your reels. That's what I think. Something inside. This contributes to a dramatic reduction of in-flight drag. Flex Fletch veins also have the uh -oh. capability of... Appreciate y'all watching. Thank you very much. We got some trivia stuff to give away, too. We're going to give away uh, two $10 gift cards to Sportsman's Warehouse today. Woo! That'll buy some fish in line. Morning, Bill. Or Carrie, whichever one you are. Iowa Star Basketball, Rick says. There you go, Rick. Boy, Rick, we got a Bigfoot show for you here in a week or two. You're going to love it. It's pretty crazy. If bow hunting or archery is your passion, get to Archery Field and Sports in Altoona and see what's new in your sport. Flesh and Beavers today. There you go, Jeff. Helping archers and bow hunters for generations. They have the experience to help you with your purchase and help you reach your I'd like to give me a buffalo coat. You know, a trapper coat, buffalo. Wouldn't that be cool? I really don't know if I want to go shoot a buffalo. Iowa State, Iowa State. Oh, Iowa State game, Rick. I got you. Yeah. Dustin's got his Packers hoodie on. Love my Saturday morning coffee with the Outdoor Call, the Outdoors Dan Radio. Thank you, Scott. That's very kind of you. Appreciate that, buddy. I got some good coffee this week. I got the uh, all day set from uh, Pure Whitetail. Pure Whitetail is going to quit selling coffee, though. I got to find some more coffee now. Hey, students, are you into shooting sports? Well, if you are, have you ever thought about using passion to help you through college? Grandview University is a small. Those are heavy. The buffalo coats. Yeah, but they'd be warm, Jeff. I, I just, you know, that one Jeremiah Johnson had, and uh, they wore in the movie. I just think, man, that'd be awesome. Oh, that's all right, Rick. I know what you meant. Rick's going to the si Iowa Iowa State basketball game. I don't know who they play, Rick. Dustin wants to know who they play. Black Rifle Coffee is good coffee. Yeah, I heard that, and they're veteran-owned too, Pete. They're like uh, Soldier Boy Beef Jerky. They're veteran owned. They're one of America's favorite fish to go after. Whether you call them old paper mouth or a slab. Oh, we're going to start transitioning turkey and crappie and walleye here pretty quick. We're waiting to help you limit out your 
Only got a, I got two more. Well, I'll wait till we come back and tell everybody. TCU. Jeff says he's making a beaver vest. That'd be cool. Dave said Jeremiah Johnson's one of my favorite movies. You come far, Pilgrim. Let's talk about a story. An Iowa story one about minute. a dream that took several years to come true in Osceola, Iowa. It's the story of Revelton Distilling. Yeah, now they got rye whiskey, too. Gins and vodka were born from the labor of Robert. They've been around that long. I remember when Revelton, three years. Yeah, it's been three or four years. That rye just got introduced last fall. It's uh, Boy Whiskey Sour. That stuff's good. Yeah, old-fashioned. American Channer Vodka. Revelton Distilling visitors can't believe the flavor profiles the mixologists are Yeah, they're doing some good stuff down here. Revelton Distillery is open Wednesday through Sunday in Osceola. Morning, Hoy. Morning, Jeff Bolton. Right off I-35. Revelton Distillery fine spirits are also available at your local grocery and other retailers around Iowa. Please check them out online at reveltondistillery.com or visit them at the distillery. If it's time to celebrate or just time to sit back and unwind, well, then it's time for a Revelton moment. You're listening to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. All right, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. Hope everyone's having a great Saturday all across the good old U.S. of A. It is cold out there. Me too and Grumpy Old Men. I love Grumpy Old Men. That's a good movie. Hey, uh, we only got two more episodes of Buck Talk Radio for the year, and then we'll uh, go, we'll go into rerun mode. But uh, this the Wednesday at five o'clock, I'm going to have the Hunting Public guys on. Morning, Dave Jones. James Do- Dave Jones, my taxidermist. Morning, buddy. Hell, he's in Texas. Well, f- well, what are you doing in Texas? It's cold in Virginia. I'm ready for spring. I'm over winter. Me and you both, Hoyt. Not not to get political, but there is a commercial. But oh, uh, well, hang on, Rick. I was going to talk about that. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, Buck Talk Radio. Uh, the hunting public will be on at five o'clock with me live on Wednesday. So if you get a chance, uh, listen in on Wednesday for the Buck Talk Radio, and then we're going to start doing turkey talk and transitioning over to turkey stuff. So there you go. Buck Talk Radio is brought to you by the fine folks at Woodhaven Custom Calls. They're deer grunt calls, uh, the Midwest Grunter, and the uh, Ninja Intimidator. There you go. Uh, So, I'm doing the show this week. My wife, Jenny, goes, Dan, have you seen Bigfoot talking about Joe Biden? I said, what are you talking about? She goes, Google Bigfoot and Joe Biden. I did. It's, It's an ad that one of the a Democrat guy that's running against Joe Biden, Google it and watch it. It's the funniest ad I've ever seen in my life. And that's all I'm going to say, because I told you I don't want to get political, but Bigfoot look, looking for Biden. It's hilarious. I just pulled it up. I haven't seen that before. I'll watch that. Yeah, oh, it's, it's Bigfoot fu- looks, it's, that's the real one, right? Yeah, the, well, that's yeah. not really the big fellow, but, but it's it's funny. Uh, looking for look Bigfoot and uh, looking for Biden, You it'll, it'll make you laugh. It's pretty funny. Uh, all right, let me uh, let me see. Where am I at? All right, so we did a contest this week. It was called the Secret Listener Contest, where you all Monday through Friday, all you had to do was take a screenshot of a show that you were listening to on the app and email it to me. And I had some people that emailed me every day. Good morning, Richard, up there in the East Coast. Good to see you. I think Richard's in New Jersey, if I remember right. Uh, Bigfoot with the video cameras. Lately. Yeah, it's funny, Rick. Um, so I, uh, I had a, some people email me, uh, once a day. I had some people email me three or four times a week and I had some people just email me once. So there was a lot of different people listening at different times. So, uh, I, I didn't tell what the prize was. I said it was going to be a secret. So I'm going to show you the winner won a brand new Ozonix, uh, HR 500 Ozonix unit. That's this is the one I actually use on Respect the Game. This is mine right here, but this is what the winner won. So that's a heck of a prize, folks. And the winner is, um, see, and I got an email from him, so I can't say his last name because he wants whatever it was. He wanted to give it to his dad for his birthday, which I think is awesome. That's nice of him. Yeah. So uh, here's the. Uh, Here's the email I got. He was listening to Tackle and Tacos on Friday. 
and uh, that's the that's the screenshot at 9:15 last night, and I cut it off at midnight. So, but uh, it's Adam Adam B from Omaha. Barely got in three hours to spare. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a random draw, you know. But congratulations, Adam, and I hope your dad enjoys that. He's uh, it's going to be great. So, I've got another one of these that I'm going to give away. Uh, if you've ever won an Ozonics, you know, but I'm going to probably wait till the summer to give it away because we're getting into turkeys now. But uh, see, it pays to listen to the Outdoor Call radio app. I'm just telling you. That's pretty cool. So good morning, Dave Eagleman. Um, what's next? Uh, we still got the Wave Whacker contest going on. Uh, if you don't know what wave whackers are, that's that polycarbonate trim that goes on the back of your boat on each side of your motor to keep, uh, if you're back trolling, to keep heavy surge or waves coming in your boat. Uh, I got them on every boat I've ever bought. I'm, I'm going to have them on my boat that I'm getting here in a, in a couple weeks, in a month or two. And uh, I just, for if you're fishing a lot in the water and it's windy, that those wave whackers are great. And uh, we're going to give away a free set of those thanks to uh, Mike at Wave Whackers up in Minnesota. So there you go. So Adam won that. Uh, we do have a, we got, when turkey season gets here to start, we got a Tacticam Gearhead Archery Turkey Challenge. Uh, it's, you're, someone's going to win a $1,600 turkey hunt to Slim Knox County Whitetails in Missouri. That's like a three, three day fully guided hunt, meals, lodging, everything. You're going to get a DSD, Dave Smith decoy, a Rupert's Roost in Peace turkey pack, and a Tacticam camera. If you shoot if you shoot a turkey with a gearhead and you, did I win yet? No, Richard, you haven't won yet. Richard, you got you to gotta listen to the app and send me a screenshot. I think I put one or two of yours in, but sometimes you just take a shot of the, of the live stream here, and that's, you can't do that. You got to listen to the app and send me the logo of the show you're listening to, what's playing. I explain that all the time, you know. Some people, it, it, it technic, technology is not for everybody. I get it. I have a hard time with it, so I'll keep explaining. Hey, Lucy, you got some explaining to do. Remember that? I, I love, love Lucy. Lucy. I love yep. Lucy. Uh, it's going to be about a three thousand dollar package when when we're all said and done. So as soon as turkey season starts, uh, we'll. Uh, <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. Uh, we'll uh, we'll start letting you enter. And how you enter is, I just want you to send me a thirty second or a sixty second clip of your turkey hunt, uh, and that's all you got to do. And you can use you can use a crossbow, a shotgun, a vertical bow. I don't care. Skippy said he's fine with that. A gearhead. Um, and uh, if you can, just use a Tacticam. That's the rules. Uh, and you got to be 18 years of age or older. Because, you know, with the prizes and everything. So, uh, too techie, I just learned this. Well, Jeff, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I, I'm just trying to make a living, buddy. I hope he learned it. There you go. He yeah, he now. learned it. So, there you, there you go. I think, Jeff, you were okay. I think you got a couple in there, if I remember right. So, all right. Uh... I just had something pop into my head, and I, I lost, Jeff asked me a question. I, I totally lost my train of thought. Um. <laughs> it's his fault. Oh, oh uh, I've got a trika fishing rod we're going to be doing a contest for. Um, at the Iowa Deer Classic, we're going to have some stuff to give away at the booth. Uh, one of the things I'm going to be giving away is my Dave Smith buck decoy. That's like a three dollars $400 decoy. It's a full full body deer decoy. I I, uh, I should I give that away at the Deer Classic or should I give that away on the app contest? I'll let you, uh, we'll take a poll and I'll let you I'll let all the I'll let the listeners decide. Maybe that's a good way to get a lot of people on the app. <laughs> Jeff says I'm a trapper. We're slow. That's you probably listen. If you're trapping Jeff, you know more than I do. <laughs> Squirrel. Yeah, no kidding. Squirrel. I have my train of thought. So. That the next couple the next couple months that's what we'll do and uh, Rupert's 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 Roost and Peace Turkey Pack that will be another secret listener call or contest so that that'll be the next couple contests I'll probably start another contest uh, in two weeks okay let everybody get settled in and and out 
7.33 and some change. Let me take another quick break, and when we come back, i got some DNR uh, outdoor reports to tell you about. Congrats again, Adam. Uh, I appreciate you listening, and uh, we'll be right back. If you're into cooking wild game or grilling, you probably love to transform your wild game into delicious meals or great-tasting snacks. High Mountain Seasonings has everything you need to help That's you a heck of a prize, isn't it? I love my Ozonics, man. So we'll, we'll actually have a couple of these to give away this year, okay? So I'll probably do one in July, and I'll probably do one in September, September, something about that. Make them timely. I love Ozonics, but I will not hunt without an Ozonics. I love Ozonics. Well, that's, well, it's easy. You, you open the app, you listen to the show, you just take a screenshot and email me. That's all you got to do. You don't have to fill nothing out. You know, That way I know you're listening to the app. I'm keeping people engaged. And uh, spot, everybody's happy. I was doing like a phrase that pays where you had to listen. Some people, Dan, I ain't got time to listen all day to this. It's like, all right, I'm trying to make a living here. I'm just trying to make a living. Uh, they can go back and listen. It, it loops. So it plays a show, runs commercials, plays a show, runs commercials, plays a show, and then it starts over again. What happened to the Buck Talk shirt sale? Ken, I'm still trying to get all that coordinated, buddy. And the waiter contest, I need four more or five more people to buy socks before I draw a winner. So you're still you're still in the running for the waiters, buddy. Uh, let's see. I'll take I'll take a send it to Pennsylvania. There you go. Oh, the deer decoy? Yeah, you you can't win, Rob. You're ineligible. You're on you're a show on the app. Hi, this is your old friend Speed over at Speed's Golf Cars, located in West Lake, Iowa. Just stop on over here. We've got a nice selection of new and used golf carts. We're a club car dealer, so we've got a nice selection no. of new golf carts, as well as a good mix of utility. Ken, I'm going to probably sell those. If I don't sell them before, I'll probably just sell the rest of the shirts at the Deer Classic at the booth. That's probably what I'll do. I'm going to try and do it before. Maybe at archery. Maybe I'll come out to Archery Field and Sports or Sportsman's and kind of hang out for not hang out for a few hours and sell them there. We'll figure it out. I've been. I'm just got too much going on right now. Do you go to any other shows, trade shows, or you just go to the? No, just the. I I can't travel because I'm doing I'm doing six radio shows a week. It's crazy. I'm gonna have to take. Uh, I'm gonna have to pre-record some stuff just to go turkey hunting. Jeff, I, I would love to have a trapping show on the network. If you can get a podcast going and get get a bunch of shows built up, get a, let me know. That'd be awesome. I'm going to be contacting you soon with details. Our archery club is going to do a benefit raffle for Dan. The hurricane. I'm also going to talk with Donovan and Peavity to see what uh, they can come up with to help out. Uh, David, I, I don't know if Philip or Donovan. I mean, we just did that for Dan. They're probably they're probably tapped out, buddy. We just we just donated a lot of stuff, so you're probably going to have to do that with your archery club on your own, there, bud. Because I know I put a couple grand of my own stuff in there, and we just don't have the budgets. To, uh, to do what like we used to, people they're just everybody's cutting back. Hurricane's a great guy and his family. Anything you could do to help them, they'll appreciate it. We all want to be better at it and use the best gear available. I think we raised over fifteen grand for him. I think I think it was like fifteen grand. 
to sensitivity and longer cast trichomes. Oh, we got a friend of ours got Trichomars really bad cancer in his bile duct, and it's, he's he's been going through a lot. So they needed some help with some medical bills. So we did all through hunting season. We did a a big sweepstakes where if you hunted down there, or, or you could buy a raffle ticket. And I mean, it was three, it was five, six, seven thousand dollars worth of stuff. You know, so for a hundred bucks, you had a great uh, chance of winning a heck of a package. There was hunts in there, and just just a, a bow. I mean, there was everything in there you could think of. Yeah. Yeah. This is the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on Des Moines Sports Leader, 1350 ESPN. All right, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. We don't need our donut as much as helping. So. Oh, there you go, David. Oh, I'm just giving you a heads up, man. Everybody's everybody's budgets are I mean I it's crazy welcome back to the show everybody so I, I you know I was I put a post and I pulled it off the thing the other day because I, I said if I was rich this is what I, and I listed a bunch of stuff that I would love to do like start a kids camp and start a fun for people to get to go elk hunting for the first time I'd buy their tag and all this and I had a couple people I mean most of the people were 100 percent they got it wasn't wasn't trying to be about me. It was about just giving back, you know, and I had a couple people say, well, you got enough sponsors. You could do this now. And it's like, I, you know, I don't think people understand. I don't get paid to do this show mm -hmm. from the radio station. I have to buy the airtime. It's the other way, other way around. Yeah. I, I pay the radio station for the airtime to do the show. Hey, Pitsy. Good to see you. About time you started checking in, Matt. That's, that's my buddy, Matt in Pennsylvania. Um, I got to buy the airtime. I, I pay Andrew's salary. Uh, I, t I have to take care of the editing and all everything on there. So I, I've got to I've got to host it, produce it, go sell it, write commercials, and and do everything. And it, you know, if if I have a sponsor pull off or something, that's just money out of my pocket. So I, I know some people think I just get paid here to do this, and I don't. So, uh, it's, it, listen, I, I, tr that's why I do the, like the giveaways and stuff. If it wasn't for my sponsors or products, I, I wouldn't have the stuff to do it. I couldn't afford to go buy all this stuff. And I think last year on the app, I gave out, I gave away over $20,000 in prizes. I mean, that, it adds up. That's really cool. It's, yeah. it's hard to put together even a two hour show. And well, you, you work at the iCubs, you know how hard, it, you know, it hard, how hard it is to get giveaways and yeah. you know, we used to do those kids fishing things every year and we'd have five, 6,000 families show up to these things. Every kid that showed up got a rod and reel, uh, you know, bike world Forest was good about giving a bunch of bicycles. We gave bicycles cool. away. I mean, we did, we did some great stuff. Good morning, Jake. Uh, you're a machine. I'm not a machine. I'm an idiot. Uh, checking in from... Hey, Chuck! Ch Chuck's checking in from Alliance, Ohio. Keep up the good work, brother. I know I love the content. Thank you, Richard. That's very kind of you. So I'm, I'm just saying, folks, I, I, I do okay for a living, but I'm, I am not rich by any means. You know, I'm, I'm rich in this aspect. I get to do what I love. You know, I, I've been doing this for a long... I, God put this in my heart. And it gave me the passion to hunt and fish. And I was able to be blessed to make a living. I'm rich in that aspect. I'm rich because of you, all the listeners out there that follow the shows each and every week. I'm very, trust me, if you don't think I value you watching and listening and supporting the shows, you're wrong. I, 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 you have no idea how, how happy that makes me that you guys do that. Well, thank you, Fishing Dave. You, I you wouldn't be able to do it without. I, I couldn't do it without and, the listeners. Yeah, the, and you guys have been helping me for 26 years, and that means the world to me. I don't care if I ever win a broadcaster award or get into a Hall of Fame. That's that's more that means more to me than any of that would ever mean to me. So that makes it easy doing what you love. That's exactly right, Chuck. That's it, exactly right. It doesn't right. feel like work most days. Right, mostly it is. It's work, but I love what I do. Yep. You know. You know. So, but yeah. But trust me, folks. I'm, I'm just, there's, we had, we eat hamburger helper just like the, we just use venison in it. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, it's part of your job, and you get to have supper with it. You know, I, I just, uh, you know, I was a medic in the Navy and I, you know, I used to, I did claims adjusting in the, uh, for insurance companies. I mean, I had a lot of different jobs and this is the one that stuck. No you offense know. to insurance, but this does seem more fun. Right? You know, I really, I, I liked ins- doing that claims work, but the people that deserved the money never got it. And mm-hmm. the people that didn't deserve it always got paid off. That's the only thing I couldn't stomach. That's why I got out yeah. of it. Yeah, I can see that. It, it irritates me, you know? People, you know, why why don't things happen to good people? Just that you're on bad luck, it just keeps going sometimes. Well, I, I mean, like. that's, I'm just saying there's mm-hmm. crazy. Venison makes Hamburger Helper a fancy meal. Chuck, I'm <laughs> telling you what, it rocks. Hamburger Helper with venison rocks, man. It, it is, you know, Jenny, Jenny made pork chops last night. I go, honey, don't get mad at me, but... Next time you make pork chops, could you shake and bake? She goes, are you kidding me? I go, "Gone. this was fabulous. This was awesome. It was. It was a great meal. Mm-hmm. I miss shake and bake. You know? I don't know about you. Have you ever had shake yeah. and bake? Yeah, I was just talking to my mom, and she just made it for my dad. You know, yeah, I, and I haven't, I haven't, younger. Yeah, I haven't had it in 20-something years. Yeah. It'd be nice to, for nostalgia's sake, to have pork chops with shake and bake. Once I kind of forgot about it. Yeah, it's yeah. good. You know, I love stove top stuffing. I, I do, too. I'm not, you know, Jenny makes great, hey, Jeff Knudsen, Jenny makes great homemade dressing. Mm -hmm. Well, she gets, and I I said, hon, I'm not insulting your cooking. I just. Nothing wrong with the stovetop. But she loves him. She loves the venison hamburger helper. That's good. Yeah, so does Raven. I'm sure, I'm sure. (laughs) All right, stay safe on the ice this winter. Uh, We finally got some cold weather. And, hey, Jill, Jill Benz, we're not going to do a fishing tournament, ice fishing tournament. I simply did not have time with the weather was so warm for so long. Nobody wanted to do anything. So I'll try maybe next year. It just depends if we have decent weather or not. Where have you done uh, tournaments in the past at? Um, I didn't do them. I just helped people help, help, help out. Wherever they're at. Yeah. But, I mean, it's just I was over at Johnson Bait uh, the other day talking to them guys, and they just said the even at Sportsman's Warehouse, the ice fishing stuff sales has just been horrible. I mean, there hasn't been any, and now we it's haven't had any ice. Ten below. Now I it's mean, ten. Yeah. Now they'll start selling some stuff. Tomorrow yeah. might be a good. I think lower twenties. That's a perfect day to sit out. I made venison sloppy joes last night. It's sloppy doughs, Rick. <laughs> we call them sloppy doughs. That's a good name. And uh, what is that sloppy dough? Was it sloppy? Uh, what's that sandwich? Manwich. Manwich. Manwich sloppy doughs are awesome. Yeah. See, I, I'm a simple man. Yeah. Sloppy doughs. It's what's for dinner. I got. In, what did I get in trouble for? I got in trouble a couple of, uh, couple of years ago because uh, somebody said they wanted to start serving ground venison to people in prison, and I said that's ridiculous. Eating venison is a privilege. People that are in prison should not get to eat venison. If they're in that. the, I said if they're in the can, <laughs> let them eat spam. And I got people mad at me over that. I, I thought it was funny. I'm yeah. sorry. Deer is a, that's a that's a meal for that's that's manna from heaven. And I don't think if you're being if you're being corrected for something, you should be getting getting that kind of a good gourmet yeah. meal. That's just my opinion. Uh, Johnston Bait is a great shop. You know, Richard, they're really nice people over there. They I enjoyed my conversations with those guys. Nothing better than sloppy doughs with a slice of cheese and some miracle. There you go, Chuck. That's awesome. All right, hey, I gotta t- let me. Uh, I gotta take this last break. We come back. I'm gonna tell you about the ice, and then I'm gonna tell you about the uh, hunting, fishing, trapping sales. I got all the totals of everything that was bought around the state of Iowa, and we'll get into that. If you got questions, call in or let me know. We'll talk about anything. Jeff, Jeff and Rick says they agree. Knutson, we ate spam a lot in field while I was in the army. Spam's spam. Jeff's good. Jeff spam's good. I like a grilled spam sandwich. I don't think I've ever had it. It's and it's good in a stir fry. Hey, you want you want a fun meal? You mm-hmm. take spam, chop it up. You add frozen peas and carrots, and then take that cookies Korean barbecue sauce mm-hmm. and make you a little stir fry. It's awesome. I could probably try it with that. Yeah, it, it's, it's good. Get some veggies in there. Yeah, we'll be right back on thirteen fifty ESPN. I'm all, I told you it was going to be a hodgepodge today. I'm all over the place. Yeah. Thanks. Now I'm going to have to have slogan in my head all day. I'll shake and bake. <laughs> there you go, Josh. Yep, tomorrow's it, Kenny. When you're 
getting ready to outfit your next outdoor adventure, there is one place in a oh. outdoor shop. That sportsman's warehouse. The sportsman's oh, warehouse. It's Everything an acquired taste. That spam's not bad. Hey, when I was in the service, Jeff Knutson can attest to that. I we had I had some of the very first MREs. They were not good. They had a thing called a ham and pork patty, and when you took it out of the foil, it had slime on it. You take it and just slime. It was disgusting. I'm telling you. Triple Target is having an ice fishing target next week on 12 Mile. Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> Chuck said spam's awesome, no matter how you prepare it. Yeah. We've been to the Spam Museum up in uh, Minnesota. Yeah. I've driven by it. It's, it's up in Rochester, isn't it? Which is close to Rochester. Yeah. It's right there on the way. Yeah. It's up there by Mayo, the Mayo Clinic or whatever. Trails are not always easy. That's why your boots need to fit and perform when you're outdoors. Itasca Footwear has been a good adventures for over 40 years. Itasca learned over the years. Charlie, how many kids you got signed up for archery yet? Let me know so I can tell everybody. Whether you're out elk hunting, chasing moose or whitetails, riding snowmobile trails, or ice fishing in sub-zero weather, Itasca Footwear will provide you not only a great fit, but comfort for all-day adventures. Itasca has size. Why don't you call your show Grumpy Old Men? <laughs> I don't think I'm being grumpy. Am I being grumpy? I just have observations, that's all. <laughs> then Sunday, Mid-Iowa Anglers also has a pan fishing tournament on 12 Mile. Busy weekend for me. There you go. Yeah. Hey guys, Outdoors Dan here. I'm not being grumpy. You ever thought about letting your vehicle do the promotion while you're out driving around town? We make a sandwich yeah, called Touchdown Spam and Velveeta Cheese and Spice put on a hamburger bun and wrap and foil and place in the oven for 20 minutes. That sounds good, Chuck. Josh, Bob, and the staff took the time. Yeah, I like grilled Spam. You, ever, you, you never had Spam. I, I just need to try it once. look of it, I guess. I, I should try it. Just slice it up and put a little cookies flavor enhancer on it. Yeah, there you go. Jeff K. Fishing Report. If you need help getting your message out or showing people what exactly your business does, I want you to pick up the phone and call Josh. on their website, but I don't see a lot for Yeah, I didn't get it. I didn't get the fishing report. <laughs> Jeff said he's catching bass. Or go online to chase details. Grind up the spam Velveeta. Velvets. Sounds desperate. Protect them at all times. The spaghetti and meatballs MRE wasn't too bad. Oh, what was that like? Did it actually look like? Um, it's like Chef Boyardee spaghetti. It wasn't too bad. Hey, when you're out there in the field, I mean, the peanut butter was awesome. You could eat that peanut butter and not have to worry. It would bind you up pretty good. But it tasted good. The pen stop system is underground, keeping your property open and easy to maintain. Plus, Man, that was a long time ago. What am I, 59? That's 35. I was a Navy medic, uh, Navy uh, corpsman with the Marines out of Pendleton. Yeah. In the 80s, yeah. yeah. Long time ago. Yeah, I remember those days. One minute. Man, this hour went quick. It's even more important to make sure your home is the right temperature and comfortable. Now it's a great time to call the experts at Wyckoff Heating and Cooling at 287-6000. I've had raccoon, Jeff. I've never had muskrat or beaver. Um, raccoon? Yeah, wild game dinners. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. It's kind of greasy. Yeah. I've had MREs and all of our hunting blinds. There you go, Chuck. I had sea. Ra I had a few sea rats, Dan, but or Jeff, but most of them was they just switched over to MREs. I had the first MREs, and then we had some in cold weather packs. They had a little heat thing. Uh, you could heat it, heat it up for you like a little plate. That was kind of different. Thank you, Charlie.
You're listening to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. All right, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio on 1350 ESPN. Charlie at Grandview says Triple Target is having an ice fishing tournament uh, next week on 12 Mile. And then Richard said that somebody else was having one on 12 Mile too. Let me see. Uh, Mid-Iowa Anglers is also having a pan fishing tournament on 12 Mile next weekend. So it's going to be busy on uh, on 12 Mile there. Hey, if you haven't won anything in the last 30 days, give Dustin a call. I'm going to give away a $10 gift card to Sportsman's Warehouse real quick. Yeah, I got it right there. You'll pick them up at the radio station. Just make sure you haven't won anything in the last 30 days. He's going to check and check it twice, see if you've been naughty or nice. 244-1350. And uh, all you got to do is just say, tell tell Dustin who the partner of the week is. I mentioned it at the very beginning of the show. Stay sharp out there. Uh, stay safe on the ice. Size forms at different rates on each body of water depending on the size and water depth. Once frozen conditions change constantly and ice thickness can vary across the lake. Rocks, trees, docks, and other things that poke through the ice will conduct heat and make the ice around it less stable. DNR recommends that anglers test the ice thickness frequently and trust your instincts. The ice does not look right. Don't go on it. A blanket of snow on top of an ice-covered lake insulates the ice, slowing the growth of ice, hiding potential hazards or weak spots. River ice is 15% weak on the ice. Ice with uh, bluish color is safe than clear ice. Avoid slushy or honey combed. Uh, stay away from dark spots on ice. Don't walk in areas where the snow cover looks discolored. No, safety tips on the ice. No ice is 100% safe. No ice is usually stronger than old ice. Don't go out alone. If the worst happens, someone will be there to call or help or rescue. Let someone know when you're going out or when you return. Always carry a cell phone with you. Very important safety tip. Uh, let's see. Did you get a winner? He does not remember the oh. partner, so oh. you want to give him a shot or... Uh, well, they don't need to come on the air. They just need to tell you who the partner is. You remember. All right. So uh, that's all right. That's all right. Sorry. Uh, 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 insulating effect on snow slows the... I just gave him a hint. Uh, insulating effect of snow slows the freezing process. Bring along those basic items to keep you safe. Hand warmers, ice cleats to prevent falls. Ice picks wear around your neck to help you crawl out of water. If you fall in a, a Iowa ja life jacket... A floating safety rope, a whistle to call for help, a basic first aid kit, and extra dry clothes, including a pair of gloves. You know, is it sad that I don't remember? And I was here listening to you the whole time. Really? Yeah, isn't that, that's pretty bad. Dustin, what am I going to do yeah, with what you? Am I doing you're, you're as bad as Andrew. <laughs> oh, he does this too, so that makes me feel a little better. Yeah, he does it too. Why is my pen quitting? Okay, sounds good. You know what it is now? Yep, I got Okay, you. Dustin knows what it is now. Okay. Why is my pen gone? There it is. My pen's back. All right. All right. 7.57 and some change. I got 30 seconds. When we come back, uh, I'm going to tell you about the 2023 hunting, fishing, trapping license. I got all the info from the hunting, large game, fishing, uh, third line licenses, all that. So if you want to know what's going on there, and I've got two of those gift cards to give away. The answer was work sharp. They're the partner of the week work sharp so i'll give out another question when we come back because i'm not going to let you win because i had to give you the answer we'll be right back on 1350 espn i said it i talked about him for like a minute work sharp stay sharp out there exactly including curved and serrated knives, tanto blades, fillet knives, gut hooks, axes, and even kitchen knives. The work sharp knife and tool sharpener does this with precision angle sharpening guides. Do you do and question this time bring somebody on or not? To okay. the uh, they don't need to come on there unless they want to say hi. Some people don't like talking on the air. I don't understand that. I'm a putty cat. People get nervous. Consider checking out Sharp knife and tool sharpers. You turn the headphones up just to hear. Or 
any time at WorkSharpTools.com. Are they? Okay. That's WorkSharpTools.com. And American Family Life Insurance. We know that protecting your family's financial future is a priority, and life insurance is an easy way to help make that happen. You'll feel good knowing you've taken steps to protect what matters most if you were to pass away. Plus, it's a 500 unit, Steve. Let's talk about options. And it's got you can do your you can do your clothes wash in there. You, I, I'll take it and put my battery in. Throw it in my travel bag and let this, it'll cycle through and wash, it'll dry wash all my hunting clothes while I'm in camp. It's nice to get all the smell off. This thing's awesome. You can use it in the tree, in the ground blind, you can clean your clothes. So we'll be giving away at least two more of these this year. So you'll have two more chances. And I'll have, I'll have Buddy from Ozonics on here in a couple weeks. We have recently expanded our store to better serve your needs. They got some new stuff coming out. Pretty cool. Also look at any firearm you might wish to sell or put on inside. JLN Shooter Supply carries firearms to meet any budget, and we can even special order items for those who like to add higher end guns. To their You're range. welcome, Jake. I'm JLN glad you like your sharpener, buddy. That can help with all your gun repair needs. So from ammo, I hear you, Chuck. To gun cleaning kits, holsters, and sights, we handle it all at JLN. Chuck said he's got the 230 and loves it. Please stop by and see us at 6931 Douglas Avenue in Irvine. Or call us at 515-331-1577. I've had bear and deer come straight down one of me with using that, and I wouldn't have got them if I didn't have run that was on a Are you in the market for a new RV this year? Here's a place to help you start looking for that new travel partner for your next vacation. I've shot nine bear with nine with my bow over the years. Alberta, Minnesota. Yeah. How many stations have I have you been on? Uh, was on WHO, KXNO. I'm on the Big 550 down in St. Louis. I was on KLPW and ESPN. I've been on five different stations in 26 years. I'm still on KTRS. I've been there the longest. I've been on there for 26, 20, 25, 26 years. Tw no, I've been on there for 24 years. I've been in the mar I've, the show's been on for 26. Because I was on KLPW before that. So that's my longest run, 24 years. Just, I wouldn't have switched. It's just people keep, they won't, they raise your rates or whatever. And you got to make a business decision. Yeah, Pure Whitetail, Chuck, they do great, man. That The dirt eliminator spray. It, it, this stuff's awesome. Pure Whitetail. All right, welcome back to hour number two of the Outdoor Call Radio. Dustin and I will be here for another hour on 1350 ESPN. If you want to call in and say hi, if you want to got something you want to talk about, 515-244-1350. Or you can message me here on Facebook, and I'll try and answer your questions. We're live streaming right now, as always. So there you go. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit because I can hear some reverb there. All right, 23 uh, hunting, fishing. Uh, hour number two is brought to you by the fine folks at Gearhead Archery. Made in Wisconsin in the good old U.S. of A. Skip Peterson, CEO, VP, everything. Best customer service in, in the bow hunting world is at Gearhead Archery. They'll take care of you and make sure you keep on shooting straight. Wisconsin nice. Uh, yeah, Skippy's awesome, man. I, I, I've known Skippy for 20 20, 20 years, 19, 20 years, and you won't find a nicer person than Skip Peterson. I still have all the outdoor traditions show safe. Thank you, Rick. Yeah, we did a TV show for 20 years. Can you believe that? Uh, glad I figured out the 1350 doesn't come in here. Yeah, Jeff, it, you got a live stream in, in, in where you're at. <laughs> it's, an, it's only in Iowa. You you can hear it in the on the, in the truck on the dial. It goes a ways. In the yeah, we cover, Iowa, but... we cover, what, 60%, 70% of Iowa, yep. you know? But uh, when we live stream, we're all over North America. All over. All over the country and worldwide. There's people in Paris right now having a croissant watching me. Probably not. Oh, Jean-Luc. I just love the Outdoors Dan <laughs> show, Jean-Luc. That's a good accent. I can't do that. Jean -Jean. You know a lot of French? <laughs> French? I don't know any fries. I know French fries. Yeah, yep. Yeah, French fries. A croissant. That's French. There you go. Perfect. French yeah. fries and croissant. Yeah. I know two things in French. I made, made made my whole day. All right, uh, fishing. There was 199,031 annual licenses sold in 2023 in Iowa. There was 8,773 lifetime 
fishing license and sold. There was 17,428 three-year licenses and sold. There was 1,022 seven-day licenses sold. 2,998 one-day licenses and sold. There was 44,278 trout fees sold in Iowa last year. 232 paddlefish licenses sold. 20,000 619 third line licenses, resident and non resident combined. There was 36,327 fishing, hunting, and habitat combination licenses sold. Charlie said there's four, uh, four students on the Grandview Archery team already scholarship. So if you wanna if you wanna go shoot a bow and get a scholarship to go to college, call get a hold of Charlie Mundy at Grandview University. Go Vikes. Do you know what a full team would be like the? I, I would have I don't know Charlie. What what would a full yeah, team be, Charlie? I don't know. I asked him. I just asked him. Yep. <laughs> All right, hunting. Uh, there were thirty nine thousand six hundred and two annual license sold. That seems low to me. There was fifty five thousand. 553 hunting and annual habitat annual accommodation licenses sold. There were 3,610 lifetime hunting licenses sold. There were 75, 75, 7,510 hunting and habitat three-year licenses sold. 1,210 apprentice hunting and habitat licenses sold. 24,714 migratory game bird licenses. Dustin, don't let me forget to talk about George Lynch. I'm going to write it down right yeah, now. Okay, George Lynch. Uh, 39,893 habitat fees. 14,474 fur harvester annual licenses, 16 age and older. 495 fur harvester annual licenses age 15 and younger. 469 fur harvester and habitat annual combo licenses sold, and 358 lifetime fur harvester licenses. God bless all of you that did that. Thank you for helping with the predator control. Appreciate that. Uh, large game, deer. There were 12,551 youth general deer tags sold, 1,050 antlerless deer licenses, youth. 267 disabled hunter general deer, 31 antlerless deer licenses, 54,285 archery general deer, 21,632 antlerless deer licenses on archery sold, 6,796 early muzzleloader general deer tags, 1,463 antlerless muzzleloader deer doe tags, 44,792 first shotgun general deer, 70, I'm sorry, 17,270 antlerless doe tags, shotgun first, second shotgun, 47,420 second shotgun tags, 18,514 antlerless doe tags, uh, second shotgun. So second shotgun is the most popular gun season. 19,000 642 late muzzleloader general deer and 9,651 antlerless uh, deer license late muzzleloader. So even if you take early muzzleloader and late muzzleloader, shotgun blows it away. Shotgun's the most popular gun season in Iowa, hands down. Turkey, there was uh, 5,248 spring turkey bow licenses sold. Uh, uh, shotgun uh, gun bow licenses for seasons one through three. 16,673, uh, 18,807 spring gun bow license season four sold, 6,175 spring youth gun bow license sold, 2,356 uh, gun bow uh, turkey tags sold, and then 1,821 fall turkey bow tags sold. Landowner tenants, deer, 66 youth generated deer license, 55 antlerless deer license. Ah, too much reading. 5,202 archery general deer licenses, 5,558 antlerless deer license. This is landowners now. 979 early muzzleloader deer, general deer licenses, 867 antlerless deer licenses. 
22,653 first and second shotgun tags, uh, 19,016 antlerless deer tags, 2,254 late muzzleloader general deer tags, 3,539 antlerless deer tags, all landowner tenant. Turkey, two, 2,067 spring gun bow, season one through three. 2,366 spring gun bow, season four. 815 bow license, 39 youth licenses, 25, 26 fall and gun bow tags, 1,009 fall bow, and 2,023 non-resident purchase. Fishing, 27,264 annual licenses. Do those numbers include non-resident hunters? I'm getting to that, Scott. I'm getting to the non-resident stuff right now. Uh, fishing, 27,264 annual licenses. Seven-day licenses were 2,673. Uh, 11,813 three-day licenses. 14,951 one-day licenses. Fishing. 7,868 trout fees, 44 paddlefish, non-resident licenses. Hunting, non-resident. 5,440 annual licenses, age 18 and older. 16,346 hunting and habitat annual combination licenses, age 18 and older. 4,737 five-day licenses, non-resident hunting. 2,204 five-day hunting and habitat combination, 12,672 habitat fees, 4,069 migratory game bird fees, 745 apprentice hunting and habitat licenses, 119 fur harvester annual licenses, and 47 fur harvester and habitat annual combination licenses, non-resident hunting. There's your total for the year. That's a lot of tags. A lot of tags and fishing permits right there. You know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot of people out there. All right. That's great. All right. $10 gift card to Sportsman's Warehouse. What was the most highly purchased hunting tags in Iowa? What category? If you know the answer, I just read it. I think I was listening to this one. Yeah. I <laughs> yeah. What what method? 515-244-1350. 515-244-1350. And one thing in the last 30 days, call Dustin and he'll tell you what it is. So, there you go. All right. Uh, Herman's Fine Jewelers. Let me tell you about the fine folks at Herman's Fine Jewelers. They're located at 2900 University in West Des Moines. Uh, 222-2600. 222-2600 is the number to call. I just down there. I bought. You know what I bought? I bought a bunch of buffalo nickels. I I've been wanting some buffalo nickels. I'm gonna do some projects, and uh, Donnie had a whole bag of buffalo nickels, and I bought some. See, they're not just jewelry. They got a lot of neat stuff down there at Herman's Fine Jewelers. But they sell great jewelry. They got over ten thousand diamonds and mountings in stock. They got in-store jewelry apparel. They can do custom jewelry. I got my elk ring when I got my elk ivory done. When I got my last bull, I got that cross made. Oh, okay. If you're watching for the first time. Uh, I got a elk. I got a cross. Can you see that cross made from my elk ivory? Isn't that cool? Herman's did that for me. Isn't that neat? I got that with my my wedding ring right there. So isn't that cool? They can do all that for you at Herman's Fine Jewelers. Go check them out and tell them Outdoors Dan sent you. The super nice people. And if you got stuff laying around you just don't wear anymore, and you need some help or some money. Go to Herman's. Donnie and Frank are probably going to give you more money okay. than anybody else in town. Okay? Go check them out. Herman's Fine Jewelers. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you use a high-power rifle in Iowa? Uh, they had a late season, Rob. Yes, you can. Uh, Pete says squirrel season. There you go. Uh, morning, Nathan. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. All right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Researchers looking for answers on turkey. They've got turkey studies going on. They're going to be, I'm going to have, uh, I just had Jim Coffee. If you missed the show on Wednesday, go uh, go on my, uh, go on the Outdoor Call Radio app page on Facebook, or you can go to the Outdoor Call Radio on YouTube and uh, watch that uh, show and listen to Jim. Jim had some great stats on our Iowa turkey population and uh, some of the deer numbers and stuff. Go listen to that show because we talked about all of that uh, on that program. So there you go. All right, 813 and some change here on 1350 ESPN. Did you get a winner? 
Yes, I did. Yes, I believe he's one Rick. Um, Sesker. Oh, okay. All right. You said. You do, you do. I know who that is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. congratulations, Rick. You got him a card. He, he still apologized for not hearing the work sharp. Well, I didn't either. So. Oh, he right. called the first time? Yeah, yeah. he didn't know yeah. it. That's so. all right. That's all right. Uh, George Lynch, uh, will you do me a favor? My buddy George Lynch, who owns Legendary Gear, they make some of the best waterfowl calls in the country. Uh, George uh, George has been doing it for a long time. He hand-tunes everything. Legendary Gear is the website. Go check them out. George actually does a show for me every Wednesday on the Outdoor Call Radio Network. Uh, it's called Legendary Gear or uh, the George Lynch Experience, however you want to say it. Uh, George had a fall uh, the other day and he broke some ribs. So do me a favor and just keep George and uh, Diane and everybody in your prayers. You're welcome, Rick. And uh, say a good thought for George, will you? Because that guy's he's down there in Iowa and he's trying to do a, trying to do, make everybody's life easier when they're waterfowl or duck hunting and they do have some really good stuff. So thank you, Rick. Uh, you're welcome. And uh, everybody have a good word for George. A14 and some change. Let me hit a break. I'll be right back. Hey, Outdoors Dan here. How many times have you had to quit hunting because your feet got cold or uncomfortable? Well, I have a way to keep your feet feeling great in any weather or outdoor activity. Have you heard of Norland or Sock Company? Norlander Sock Company uses high-quality alpaca to produce some of the best socks out there. Alpaca socks will keep your feet comfortable and feeling great all day. Alpaca socks will wick away any moisture that you might encounter, plus work with your outdoor footwear to keep your feet in temperature where they need to be. Alpaca socks also has a natural antibacterial quality to them that will keep your socks from smelling. They have heavyweight and lightweight styles with a bunch of color and size choices for you to choose from. Plus, gift boxes are available that are 100% guaranteed. So this year, when you plan your outdoor activities, make sure you keep your feet comfortable and feeling great all day. Try a pair of Norlander socks, pure alpaca, pure comfort. For more information, just go to norlandersocks.com and give your feet a treat. Hey, America, when you barbecue, cookies is the one. Lots of flavor, lots of goodness, thick and rich. I hear you, Rick. That big buck has eluded you for seasons. You see his scrape line, but just can't figure him out. Have you heard of Pure Whitetail? Pure Whitetail can help you see more deer and target that buck that haunts you. Pure Whitetail has some of the best deer scents you can rely on. Hey, uh, scrape lines yeah, here we go. Scrapes that will help you see more deer. Pure Whitetail's natural and synthetic products are developed straight Give me a favor and call Charlie real like quick, will you? Fixation yeah. and power shot, to name a few. Scents are available in powder and liquid form to Here last longer when hanging branches Hold or scrapes. Try the White Lightning Esther scent. It's a proven scent that bucks can't resist. Pure Whitetail is more than scents. It's a community of hunters that are family. Just go to purewhitetail.com and check out all they have to offer. Scents, hunting gear, seed, grilling sauces, coffee, apparel, field staff opportunities, and family. Want to be more successful in the field? Go to purewhitetail.com. Hey, there you go, Jeff. You Cookies, good stuff. Taping your own hunts is an exciting way to capture the moment. Yeah. Arrow yeah. camera arms can help keep video easier in the field. They're extremely lightweight, durable, and easy to pack. Their patented shoulder system is also very adaptable to any tree or ground line setup. The bases are affordable and easy to set up for various wind directions. Multiple camera arms. I'm shooting the B30. Clint, B30 bow from Gearhead. I love it. This shoot's good. Right there, Gearhead Archery. See the hat? The thing, I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to talk to Skip next time I have him on, but um, listen, I've shot great bows. Matthews, Elite, they're good. They're great bows. Um, I, like I said, I, I just I, I had to make a change, unexpected change this year. And I moved over to Gearhead because I know Skip personally, and I can call him anytime. He's the owner, and uh, I, you know, Skip's going to help me do a lot of contests, which is going to be good for you guys listening. And uh, I just, uh, I got that bow in, and I tuned it. I took it down to Mark uh, Archery Field and Sports, and Mark uh, helped me line shim the cam over. I had to shim it just a little bit, and uh, that thing's just shooting lights out. 
but for, for I don't know what it is about, but I can actually pull more weight. Uh, remember, I was telling you I was going to go down to 50 pounds because I was having trouble pulling in cold weather and everything. I got that thing all the way down at 61, 62 pounds, and I can actually point my bow like I'm in a ground blind if I'm sitting down. I can hold my bow pointed down and draw back like this and then come up and shoot the bird. I can do that sitting down. It's crazy. I, I, I love the draw cycle on that bow. It's nice. It's, uh, but that B30 is nice. He's going he's gonna to make me a carbon uh, 30 to shoot for a backup bow, I think. So, But one of the, I'll, I'm going to start giving my bows away. Uh, at the end of next end of this year, someone will win my backup bow or whatever, like we always do. But uh, I love gearheads; they're good, they're neat bows, and they make really cool crossbows too. All right, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors, Dan. Hope everyone's doing a wonderful, wonderful day out there and start trying to stay warm and snuggly. Uh, speaking of snuggly, we got uh, Charlie Mundy over there from Grand U Verse today on the air. How you doing there, Charlie? I'm good. How we doing this morning? I'm, I'm a, it's a little cold, man. It's even cold in the studio here. Yeah, it's, it's a little rough. I'm telling you, I, you know, Jenny and I keep talking about retiring when we when we when we do retire. I'll pro I'll probably keep doing the radio show as long as I can until I get too old and I can't talk. But uh, as, long, as long as you can do it inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the nice thing with technology, you see, with the app and everything, I can travel and do the show anywhere, which yeah, there you which, go. which is nice. But we keep her. We she keep she's from Minnesota, and but and uh, I love I love up there at Lake Winnie and Cass and Leech. I love going up there fishing and everything and bear hunting up there is all turkeys. They got everything up there, but it, I just don't yeah. know if I could handle the. I don't know if I could handle the winters, Charlie. I mean, it's cold <laughs> here. It's worse than up there. Oh man. I don't know. I'm gonna to have to get me an electric snowsuit. There you go. Yeah. So, hey, when you uh, Grandview, did you got you guys bought a, a grocery store, right? Well, what it is, uh, Grandview owns the old. Uh, you're an '80s guy, so you remember Fair Lanes up there on East 14th. Well, now see, Charlie, I didn't move to uh, Des Moines, and uh, I've been here 23, 20, 23, 24 years. Okay. So, well, it's an old bowling alley up there. On uh, East 14th, okay. south of, uh, of the interstate on 14th. But anyway, Grandview owns that bowling alley, and, and uh, myself and the softball and baseball coach, we just uh, kind of remodeled the place and tore out some old bowling lanes, and so now we have an indoor facility that'll be just right up the block from main campus, and and uh, so we, we should be able to host pretty large shooting events and uh, bring other colleges and stuff in for competitions and uh it's just going to be a great facility for us and, and our student athletes will have basically 24 7 access so they can go in there and get as much lane time as they want and, and uh, we're really looking forward to it now you got four people signed up already uh those are scholarship uh archers yeah i've got four four young ladies right now uh coming in they kind of i got a young lady from altoona and uh, one from southern Iowa, one from up there at Storm Lake, and uh, got another one from the Sheridan area that will be coming in, and, and uh, from uh, Jamie, J.D. McDonald's, a coach down there in the Sheridan area. And, oh, I, I I know J.D. He's uh, he's he's with the Iowa Bow Hunters. He's a good guy. Yeah, he's a great guy. I actually had his son in one of the first shotgun teams I had at, uh, in the state of Iowa, so I've uh, known J.D. for quite a long time. But anyway, yep. he's bringing a young lady. Um, She's a good shooter, so we're we're excited to get these kids going. But yeah, right now I got four young ladies on the team, and and uh, uh, I think Dustin was asking, you know, like how big is the team? You know, we're we're looking, like I said, with that facility, it's an old bowling alley. Um, that bowling alley used to be the largest in the country, I guess. So, wow. So we we got room for lots. Um, I'd like to see you know close to a couple dozen. Uh, young people on that team and, and we got room for more but we want to make sure we give them a good experience while they're there shooting and and uh you know we're looking forward to some of the partnerships we're building trying to get this thing going you know we're excited about gearhead archery and and uh, flex wedge and and mark over there at archery field and sports so uh really excited i think we got some great opportunities for some young people this team is getting there you know there's a couple clubs around at the college level but uh, Grandview kind of, it's going to be a varsity sport. So 
will be no different than the football team or whatever as far as uh, so you're going to you're going to actually with their kids. you're going to actually have 20 scholarships available for for if, if they want to go to Grandview and go to school they can get a scholarship yeah there's there'll be different levels of scholarships okay um, you know it's not like they're all full rides but we're we're uh, Grandview is also kind of hosting like a, it's called the Nexus which uh, we got some kids coming in that are you know they're good students, and but they might not have the financial backing, and so we're looking at some some uh, loaner equipment type stuff to help give these kids opportunity to to enjoy archery and and uh, you know. But those those kids will be pretty much full tuition. Um, we've got other kids coming in, like the young lady from Sheridan's in the Army Guard, uh, so that you know her her GI bill pays for a lot of her tuition, but. You know, all these things allow me to also put at least a portion or some type of scholarship on top, as well as, you know, I mean, just being on the team alone, we're going to pay for these kids' travel. Um, as this thing gets going, we're looking to probably fly the kids to Vegas for the Vegas shoot in February, um, at least for the first couple seasons. And and uh, we're just really excited about the opportunities it's going to give these kids and and you know, while they're getting their education and, and do something they can do the rest of their life as well. So, well, you and I, you and I, let's, let's talk. I might, I, I can't, um, I got some making up to do cause I lost, I lost a pretty big partner, uh, this year. So that, that hit me hard in the, in the financial area, but, um, I'm, I'm gradually getting all that put back. So once I get back to where I was, Charlie, maybe I can do a, uh, an outdoors Dan or an outdoor call radio, uh, endowment or, um, uh, what would you, if I, if I buy a bow for an athlete, a student athlete, or if I buy a bow for the team, what would that be a donation or what would that be called? Well, we, yeah, we could set up some kind of endowment or something. Um, you know, we can kind of look at that when it gets there, but, but that's, I talked to Skip over at Gearhead too, yep. and he was kind of on board as, of, uh, you know, one time we talked about, getting bows for, for some of the kids that were financially challenged, you know, as far as equipment wise. And, and, uh, you know, it's just kind of unlimited the opportunities that we have here. So okay. I, I kind of want to, if, if we get bows kind of donated into the program, uh, we like the bows to be able to be adjustable so we can fit them to the kids. But as long as we can keep them in the program, we can just keep offering those opportunities year after year. Um, so I'm well, kind of looking forward to those kind of partnerships. Yeah, just just put me down to talk to me in August or September, and uh, I'll uh, I'll figure a way to do an outdoors Dan thing for an athlete every uh, and try to do that every year if I can. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. You no, know, we're we we think this thing. There's a lot of archers in the state, you know, through the NAS program. Um, so we've been following NAS quite a bit, trying to get the word out that Grandview is going to have an archery team. You know, the thing with NASP is it's fourth grade through 12th grade. And so collegiately, there's, we're still kind of setting things up. Um, and, and so I think it's going to blow up. I really do. There, I believe there was like 18,000 registered NASP shooters in the state of Iowa, something like that. It's a large number, um, you know, from fourth grade and up. So, so the word's just kind of getting out that, you know, you can go beyond high school and, and continue to shoot your bow. We're looking at maybe the first year or two, probably going into the field archery association, just so we can offer, you know, like a bow hunter class, and so we can, um, you know, maybe these kids that are that are bow hunters, and you know, you don't have to have a target bow or whatever. Uh, we want to make sure there's classification, offer as many opportunities as we can for these young people, and, and get their education while they're at it. So okay, uh, just, just really exciting. Yeah, we'll figure it out, and, and we'll uh, we'll make sure those bows stay with the team. That way, when the when they when they move on, another somebody else can take that bow over, and that's an expense they don't have to worry about. Yeah, that's what we're wanting to do. Try to try to keep it, you know, keep it forward and, and offer it and yeah. through education and everything. Keep it with these with the program. Okay, morning, Hank, down at Revelton. Dennis, good morning. Thank you very much. Jeff says I'm going to be like Keith Kirkpatrick. I'll be I'll be the old man on the radio. I'm already there. <laughs> oh, Keith Kirkpatrick was a prince of a man. I miss Keith. He was a good guy. So, uh, no, that's exciting, Charlie. I, and I, I appreciate you guys being a partner on the Outdoor Call Radio Network too. That's I really enjoy working with you guys. And 
We're going to have a show. Are you, how's the show coming? You guys getting along with that? Yeah, we're we're uh, we're going to be down at the Deer Classic as well. So um, we we just got a lot of things going on right now. Just trying to get forward with the team. You know, we're recruiting for archery, and then we're always recruiting for shotgun side as well. And, yep. And uh, well, yeah, I'm, the facility up the road is just coming together, and we're getting ready to maybe host a shoot or two here coming well, up. Well, I'm talking about the radio show you guys are going to do for me. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, we've got the, the kids just shipped. Just uh, this was their first week back in school, so we're looking to get into the studio next week and, and start putting together some shows. And yep. we're, we're really excited about that as well. And, yeah. So all the kids, uh, all the kids on the shooting teams on the shotgun and the archery side, we're they're going to have their own radio show on the Outdoor Call Radio. That's uh, I don't know what the title of the show is. I'm going to let them just choose their own show title, but. That'll be airing every week, once a week, on the Outdoor Call Radio Network. So I'm excited about that, Charlie. Yeah, we're we're like really excited about it. Be able to kind of reach out to the community, and you guys can kind of keep tabs on these kids, and we'll have weekly updates on how we're doing, what we're doing, and where we're at. And, and uh, I just think that it's a great opportunity. It's it's also um, we just happen to have some some marketing kids that are. Uh, associated with the, the shooting sports team at Grandview, so they're excited to put together some type of podcast deal, and, and uh, yeah, we're we're really excited about it. Yep. So another reason to download the Outdoor Call Radio app. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. All right, Charlie. Well, thanks for saving my voice because I was getting it was starting to go there for a minute. Too much, too much reading and stuff today. <laughs> I, well, I'm always good at talking, I guess. So. No, nah, you're good. I'm, t- this, I'm telling you, these six doing six shows a week, man. My voice is it. I, it's it's going from two to six a week. It it puts a strain on your voice. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. So we'll, we're looking forward to doing doing our little show, and and uh, I appreciate you having us on. And and uh, if anybody knows any young people looking to continue into archery or shotgun. It, at the university and get some of their education paid for just look us up online give me a call my cell phone's out there and, and uh we'd, we'd love to hear from you all right pal all right we'll talk to you soon let me know if anything's going on okay and thanks for the fishing right. thanks for the fishing uh tournament info yeah cody's been doing ice checks and stuff and he's got that triple target on online facebook and and so it looks like we're gonna have a big turnout and and you should. I'll be down there helping out. Tell him to call in, uh, right? What during the during the uh, tournament, whenever the, whatever Saturday that is, and yeah. and uh, tell him to call in and give me a fishing report, uh, like a week or two after the tournament, so we can talk about that. Sure. Yeah, it starts I think six six in the morning. I think weigh ins at noon next ne- Saturday. Well, tell him tell him to call in, and uh, we'll 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 have him on for five or ten minutes. Sure. I'll do that. All right. Thank you, Charlie. Appreciate you, buddy. Yep, thank you. There he goes, Charlie Monday, Grandview University. Really, really nice guy. I really appreciate Charlie and all his family. 831 on some change. I'll be right back on 1350 ESPN. Hey, let me ask you a question. Do you like to go fishing? Or Absolutely. Have you ever been back trolling? Back trolling is still one of the best. I love to go fishing. Let me ask you a question. Walleyes and other fish. That guy seems pretty cool. Wave awesome. has been the choice for anglers on all. What else does he do? Is he just a coach? Uh, he's like a coach and athletic director. Or, I, I, I don't know his official title. I should. Wave whackers are custom made in Minnesota by Mike and his family. They're made from a quarter inch tinted polycarbonate. Yeah, you see them have about every year. They're active in everything. So they have to allow it to rest there. Men's volleyball are always there. Wave whackers are custom made. Yeah, they're, it's nice to be able to support the kids. I got to figure out. I'm going to talk to a couple partners of mine and see if we can't get like a couple bows every year. That way, the kids uh, that'll help those kids out. As long as I can afford my deer helper. I like the hamburger helper with the little bow tie pasta with the deer, with the ground venison. That's that's always really good. The bow tie pasta is the best. Yeah. I think it's lasagna and, uh, well, let's see, stroganoff. I think she does like a Jesse hamburger, yeah, with the ground venison. Mm-hmm. Good stuff, Maynard. 
Richard, where mediation and cleaning can handle any size job from a single home. really going today, I think. Oh, deer chili. I love deer chili. Jenny makes... I, you know what? When I took my first date with Jenny, I made her a pot of elk chili for our first date, and I brought it over to her. Melted her heart. I, I had her right there. That's right. Yeah. You give a woman elk chili on your first date, you're going to make an impression. Absolutely. Yeah. Jeff, that's really nice of you, buddy. Thank you. Uh, are you into hunting, fishing, camping, or tailgating? If you are, we'd like to introduce you to Arctic Ice. Arctic Ice is a brand new oh. Yeah. She goes, what's that? And I said, it's something for you. She goes, what is it? I said, I made you some elk chili. I could just see her heart just melting right there. She looked at me with those big old brown eyes. We need to do some outdoors, Dan. Dating tips. Yeah, we'll do that for Valentine's Day. How to win a woman's heart. This Valentine's Day. <laughs> yep, redneck it up. Uh, can you call Smelter? See if he's working. You got his number? Hi guys, Jackie Bushman here with Buckmasters. When it comes to food plot seed and deer feed, the Mississippi-based Backwoods Attractions product line has you covered. From their food plot blends like Trophy Acre, Lazy Acre, Clover Deluxe, and the popular Dixie Six to their attractive... Yep, like Scotty, good stuff. stuff They're doing a lot of good stuff for kids. Is, if you're not using Backwoods Attraction products, you better hope your neighbor isn't either. From small to large acreage, Backwoods Attraction has the feed and seed be back. perfect for your hunting property. So do yourself a favor and swing by and support your local co-op or farm supply store and ask for Backwoods Attraction to set yourself up for a successful fall. This is the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on Des Moines Sports Leader, 1350 ESPN. Pretty good. How about you? All right. Welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. Hope everyone's having a good Saturday all across the good old U.S. of A. Staying warm. Last day, last weekend for the uh, antlerless deer deal, that extra season we had in Iowa. I think that's over tomorrow, if I remember right. Uh, I think that's what Ken said. I don't know if I can scroll back that far or not. Let me look, 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 and uh, I'll look it up later. Let's go ahead over to the phones, and our buddy Smoking Joe Smelter's on the line. What are you doing, Smeltzy? Morning. How's it going? Well, I don't know. Are you at work? Uh, yeah. I'm are right you? here. Are, no, you're not always there. <laughs> no. You got months and you got months in disease. Months and fever. Months and fever. So, right. hey, when are we starting this? Uh, when are we starting that workshop thing? When did I say we were going to start doing that? I thought it was this spring. Okay, so we got a couple months then. Yeah, we probably should still sit down and, and hash it out. So. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just we'll figure it out. So. <laughs> Stay sharp out in the outdoors with uh, Smoke and Joe Smelter or Carl Chevrolet and Work Sharp. That's right. Thank you for coming. Yeah, what did we say that if you took a test drive, they got one, or while supplies last, we do once. We got to figure. They buy five vehicles. Buy one. If they buy five vehicles, they get a free sharpener. Yep. Well, that's easy. I mean, yeah. you you give them things away. Or if you if you buy it at zero percent, then you get one. Do what? <laughs> What'd you say? I said if you get it at zero percent financing, then you get one. Yeah. Well, I'm sure they're doing that all day long since I'm not yeah, buying. Yeah, I know. That's why I said because that's your favorite time of the year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do like my truck, man. That off-road deal that uh, I've been getting around the snow pretty good. Well, that's, that snow just tough to get around, period, these days. I really haven't had an issue with it with my trail boss. I uh, and I don't. I don't. Was, was is there anything really different than my last trail boss than this one? I mean, I didn't. I I know I had 18-inch wheels on the other ones. This, yeah, this is, one has 20s. So this is really yeah. Is, they set the same height, all that stuff. Performance-wise, they're all the same. So was there an off-road <laughs> package on that though? Yeah, they always. So they all had it. Part of the trail box. Yeah. Okay, this one just has the higher wheels. Yeah, and you just didn't know how to drive the first one, probably. <laughs> well, I will say this. I it, I think this gets around in the snow better than my other ones did. So I, yeah, maybe, maybe the higher ground clearance. It could be. It could be. Yeah. I don't know. The tires are pretty good on this one, too, so that always helps out. Yeah. 
Oh, the tires are the tires are awesome. No, I like my Trail Boss. I uh, my ZR2 was really nice, but uh, I don't know. I like I like this one. So I know you like the black too. That you've always enjoyed black vehicles. Yeah, I just got to get my truck wrapped again, and I just uh, I just gosh, it's so expensive to do that. It's not cheap. No, it's not. How long did it take you to sell my other one? Uh, I don't I don't know if we did. I haven't even looked it up. Oh, I bet it can't be there still. Might be. My ZR2? Things do stick around for a while. Really? Yeah. I figured that would have sold in like three days. What do you got going on? I just haven't looked it up. What do you got going on at the Rock? Uh, the rebits are still good this month. Like on LTZs in the high countries, these are on 2024s. Uh, there's up to $5,000 in rebates, and that's the most we've had for, gosh, a long, long time. As long as I can remember since kind of before COVID days, just because they kind of took the rebates away for a long time. Uh, but <clears throat> inventory is getting good. Where I'm, I'm able to start ordering vehicles again next week because they always take a month off during the holidays to um, catch up on um, production and stuff like that. And I'm not able to order any vehicles during that period. So next week I'm able to order new vehicles again. And then hopefully we'll start to see uh, the new Traverse show up here in the next month or two. Um, and that's been completely redesigned and updates and technology and all that stuff. So that'll be kind of the... The exciting vehicle to look forward to over the next few months. So it should be should be a busy couple months coming up. Here did, did you know Chick Fil A has mango passion drinks now? Man, I'm not a mango fan, so I did not know that. You can get mango passion lemonade, mango passion shakes. You can, I mean, they got mango passion going on everywhere out there. Oh. Yeah, may have to try it out and see if you like it. Is your fun fact for the day? Huh? Is that your fun fact for the day? Uh, no, I just when I think of you, I, I don't know what the you got that palm tree in your office. I just you know mango passion. Of all stuff. things, I'm not a, a mango fan. I just don't <laughs> like the taste of it. <laughs> I never seen a car dealership that allows people to have palm trees in their office. Hey, first time for everything. Yeah, you know he he's just raking it in over there. <laughs> all right, little buddy, tell everybody where they can find you. I'll be here all day, eleven oh one southeast, Royal Lake at the Rock, and Little Packers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dust, did go, you tell Dustin pack. to say that? Go pack, go. Yeah, Dustin's, go pack, go, Dustin's got his Packer hoodie on. Cheese for life. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. What'd you say? Cheese for life? Yeah, cheese head. Oh, brother. Yeah, got to have some cheese curds for tonight and got, got it ready to go. I think, I think well, Dan, Dan was a Rams fan because he's from St. Louis. I, 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 I absolutely. I know you're more, hot, more of a hockey guy than anything. No, I, I football's my favorite, hockey's my second. Uh, but I just I detest the Rams. Stan Kroenke screwed over the St. Louis fans so bad. He packed up the team and moved them out of St. Louis and hosed everybody. Yeah, but then they won a title in LA. I could care less. I, I am I am anti <laughs> ever since he did that to all those small businesses and uh, and Jeff says Packers yuck. <laughs> so you're going for the Lions last week? Uh, no, I, I like the Lions. I I love uh, green. I rooted for Green Beret. Green uh, whatever. Green Beret. Green Beret. Dan is a military guy. Yeah, <laughs> I I rooted for Green Bay when uh, Brett Favre was there. I like Brett Favre. And when Brett Favre left, that was pretty much it. See, I grew up a Vikings and a St. Louis. I knew you were a Vikings fan. Yeah, I liked I liked the Chiefs and the Vikings. Those were my two favorite teams. Are you a, you know, I, I bet you're a Swifty. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to shake that off. Oh, <laughs> you guys set each other up on that one. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I'm just going to. That was good, though. It was like a good comeback. Yeah. Thank you, Joe. I, I do. Ha I get a zinger. But I get a bazinga in there once in a while. So. Hey, it's going to be a good weekend. Yeah. Good morning, party people. Good morning, Corey. Good to see you. <laughs> Mike Simmons, NFL is a business, and they move. Uh, agree with you. Yeah, you know, Mike. Listen, I, 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 I love fantasy football. Makes my life happy. I when I'm when I'm hunting and when I'm out there for 10, 12 hours, sitting in a tree, and there's absolutely nothing going on, and I'm bored out of my mind because nothing's going. I mean, you can film you can film squirrels and get all the cutaways and everything, but you know, you get it's hard to sit there if nothing's moving. Uh, and, yeah. and fantasy football, I can I can send trades. I can you know it it makes my life better in the yeah. fall. So I love fantasy football, but I just I'm just you know listen I'm Joe. You know me. I'm like this off the air as well as well on the air. I I want people to treat their neighbors with respect and dignity. I want people to treat people the right way. And 
there's just some things going on with some of these owners I just don't agree with. Yeah. You know? You know how I feel about that stuff. That's why you should be a fan of the Packers because they're owned by the people. So there you go. Yeah. I, I, do, I, don't, I don't dislike the Packers. I just, uh, it's just, you know, I, you know, the Vikings are never going to win a Super Bowl. You know, they're just. Nor are the, the Cowboys. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was. The definition of insanity is the Cowboys. Yeah, that was just, uh, there was a lot of people, uh, yeah, he served that one up. There, there's a lot of people upset about that. How's the ice in Iowa getting thicker in Minnesota? Corey, the ice in Iowa is doing really well because it's colder and crud here. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Joe. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate hey, you. Have a great week. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, buddy. There, yeah, go, go see Joe. He'll save you a ton of money on a used or a new truck. Mike Simmons says, Skull. I just, I just don't think the Vikings are ever going to win in my lifetime. They just, they just, I, I, I love Justin Jefferson. He's I, really, really good. I'm telling yeah. you, he is my favorite player. And I'll tell you who my second favorite player is right now is CJ Stroud. I love that kid. He's awesome to watch too. That kid, that kid, he gives all the he gives all the glory to Christ, and he's he's not afraid to express his faith, and he's for a rookie to do what he's doing. I I just love that kid. Yeah, nobody expected that, and then no. of course after the uh, quarterback TV show, everybody loves Kirk Cousins. Even as a Packer <laughs> fan, I will say he's a he seems like a really great guy. Yeah, Mike, I do have a VCR still. I'm old school. And Aaron, how are you doing, Aaron? It's good to see you. i got to take a break, folks. I'll be right back on 1350 ESPN. <laughs> You're ready for your next I just, outdoor adventure. Uh, they, don't, uh, they just can't get a transcendental, uh, transcendental, quarter, a transcendental quarterback. Is that right? right, right. Transcendental. They, need, they need a quarterback that can perform. They haven't had a good quarterback since Dante Culpepper. Yeah. I remember him. Yeah. Who they, who they I mean, they've had they've had Sam Bradford, they've, they've had uh, Kirky, Kirky Cousins. Kirky's a good quarterback for fantasy, but he can't. He chokes on. If you put him on a Thursday night or a Monday night football game, he chokes. You know, he just. I'm good, Aaron. Tell everybody hi for me. <laughs> there you go, Corey. That's funny. <laughs> Don't forget to take your Tacticam cameras. You'll be able to relive your trips like never before. Tacticam. Uh, Corey says the Vikings will never win a Super Bowl because so many will roll over in their graves it would throw the earth off its axis. The <laughs> <laughs> there have been a couple Super Bowls with Fran Tarkin in and stuff, but they lost. And I love Fran Tarkin. When I was little... That I, that's when I became a I like the Vikings because of Fran Tarkin and man he was awesome. He scrambled everywhere. He was running. Well, he was running for his life. Yeah, but I mean Chuck Foreman and there was just some good Viking players. I just I just called Justin Andrew Andrew. That's all right, man. It's Dustin. Dustin's his name. Paula says, "Go Chiefs." There you go, Paula. Thank you. I love Andy Reid. <sighs> Derek Thomas was my favorite player on the Chiefs. He was he was just awesome. He was good. Chuck Foreman, Jeff, I said it. All right, welcome back to the After Call Radio on... 1350 ESPN. I uh, got one gift card left, don't I? Do we have one card left? Five. If you haven't won anything in the last 30 days, 515 515-244-1350. I don't know where the other numbers were coming. Well, you read so many different numbers earlier. Uh, I just It's crazy. 515-244-1350. Just make sure you haven't won anything in the last 30 days. And the question is, uh, let's see who was paying attention. Who was my favorite Vikings player growing up? You can tell Dustin that. You can win a ten dollars gift card to Sportsman's Warehouse. I know. I know this one. Yeah, I just said it. Here. Yeah, let's see if they get it. Corey, I do like to ice fish. I just got to have time to go do it, buddy. Thank you. I uh, my buddy Gary up in Deer River wants me to come up there and go spear. And he 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 speared a forty-two inch norther the other day. That thing was enormous. And uh, he's getting that he's getting that thing mounted, and it's going to be at Fred's Bait in Deer River, Minnesota, when he gets it back. That's a very that's a big northern, Nancy. 
That's got to be a lot of fun to. I've never done it. I've like never that. done it. It looks amazing. They cut a rectangle square in the ice, and the, everything's dark in the in the ice shack. And you can, it, the the sunlight going through the ice, you, it's wow. like watching it on TV. You got fish. They take these little fish decoys and they put them down in the water mm -hmm. column. And these big northerns come in, yeah. and when they come in to get the, they just they got a they got like a fishing gig. They call it a spear, and they chuck it down through the water and and, and grab them. So. Pike spearing is a blast. Scotty, I haven't done it yet, but uh, I hear, and I like Northern. I hate cleaning them. That Y bone, man. I hate that stupid Y bone. But uh, they are definitely good to eat. I love the Grand Rapids area up there. I do too, Jeff. Grand Rapids, Deer River. Uh, uh, what, uh, what's the other little town up there? You go, Brainerd's nice. Uh, Cass Lake is nice. You know, I, I love the whole area up there. And I, I, I was up there turkey hum, hunting a couple week, uh, a couple years ago, and I, that's the only, I, this made me so up, this got, this kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. I'm sitting out there, I got this uh, this place that uh, my father-in-law got me a chance to, to go hunt on, and it was by the lake, right? So I'm, I'm all set up, I got my turkey decoys out, sun's coming up, I start hearing some, some tree calls, I get my call out, and I start calling soft, and and I'm calling, and then I get a gobbler gobbling at me, and and then I uh, so I start getting a little more aggressive and start cutting a little bit, and next thing I know, I got a loon calling back at me. <laughs> it's not a gobble gobble. It's you know how loons, you know how loon. Yep. And uh, it's not what you want to hear when you're turkey calling. <laughs> To have a loon call back at you. Wrong type of bird. Yeah, it's like, okay. I love loons, man. And when I'm up there fishing and they they, they land right next to you and they start calling, oh, that is so cool. It's a relaxing sound. It's a great yeah. sound. I'll never, yeah, I'll tell, this is embarrassing to me, but I'll tell you. So my father-in-law, his his uh, house is on a private lake up there. It's uh, I can't remember what the name of the lake is, but angling out of a spear hole is legit. Just need to leave the spear outside. Morning, Dano. Good morning, Roger Wild up in New York. So I go up there and I, I take my father in law's boat out and I'm out there by myself. Jenny Jenny's talking, so she wants to stay and visit with her dad. So they uh, he's got these lights and I didn't have a lantern or a light with me, right? Don't ask me why. I did I just didn't. So I go out and I'm fishing all the way through dark. I got loons or I'm in heaven, man. I'm at, I'm just having well, it starts getting cold at night up there, you know, uh, it, at night. It cools down pretty quick. So I said, all right, I'm just getting a little chilly. I'm going to go back in. And he's, his lights on his porch, he just put new lights and stuff in his porch. But there were the lights. It's What do they call it when they're inside the, the ceiling? Uh, like a can light uh, of some sort? I don't know what the, the proper term. It's They don't stick out. Mm -hmm. they, they go in. So the light is directly down, yeah. but it doesn't. you can't see it if you're away, right? Mm -hmm. So he's got the light, the porch lights on. He goes, I'll leave the lights on so you can see, find the dock and stuff. Because this is the first time I've ever been out there. Well, Jenny and I were camping. We had a tent out uh, in, in the front yard. Morning, Nick. How you doing, buddy? Good morning. Hi, Larry. Good to see you, bud. So Jenny's asleep in the tent. So I'm out there, and it's 10 o'clock or so, and I can't find his dock. And I'm going back and forth. Recess. Thank you, Rick. They were recessed lights. That's it. So I'm looking. I'm looking for the lights and stuff, and it's pitch black. I mean, there's no lights at all on the shore. So I'm going back and forth, and this is not a big lake, you know. I'm going up and down. It's like I can't see anything, and I'm going, Jenny, Jenny, Jen, say something. I can't find the dot. Oh, I'm out there for an hour. Going, and I finally, I don't know how, but I finally saw some trees that I recognized, some pines. And I'm going, that's that's got to be it. And I started easing in, and I got in there. But I about froze, man. You were so far away, she couldn't hear you? Is that? What I don't was, know or? what the deal was. I was just, I, she she did not hear a thing. I couldn't see the lights. My wife was ignoring. I think she's trying to get rid of me. You know? And it, But, uh, yeah, that was embarrassing. <laughs> at least you found it. I found it. It, only, it took me a couple hours. Oh, I was so mad. It's like, how in the heck can you not find a dock? And the, it's not like a huge lake. And it's like, yeah. And I bet people were out there just laughing their rears off. Who is this idiot out here without a light? Jenny! Yeah, who's this guy I can't see the dock! 
<laughs> so what? So the next time I went fishing, guess what Dummy did? I got a lantern and I put it at the end of the dock and turned it on. Yeah, I I might be stupid, but I'm not super stupid. Oh, that was that was embarrassing. I've had some things happen to me that's embarrassing in my life, but that was probably one of the top ones. Uh, recess. Thank you, Roger. Is this the weather? I'm cooking fish sticks. Jeff's cooking fish sticks. There you go. Mac and cheese and fish sticks. That's a good meal. All right. Did we get a winner on the other one? We did. Yeah. Who won? We had Jeff Kerr. Oh, there you go. He Way to go, Jeff. Fran. Huh? He knew the answer. He did. Fran Tarkinen, huh? That's awesome. Uh, Milo Locker's got some stuff going on. If you want to go down to Milo and check that out, they got some sales going on. Jones Brothers Taxidermy. If you Still want to uh, get a uh, get a mount or a memory or something done? Give uh, Dave a call at 515-249-4362. Uh, Onyx has still got a discount code. It's OCR20, the Outdoor Call Radio 20. OCR20, if you go to onyxmaps.com forward slash hunt, you can buy your uh, Onyx membership and I'll save you 20%. How about that? That's a nice deal. Oh, Dr. Scott, Obi-Wan Kenobi Yagi. He's my dentist. You know why he's my dentist? Because he's kind, he's nice, he's gentle, he doesn't hurt me. He's a Jedi. That's right, he's a Jedi dentist. He uses the force to calm me down. Advanced Family Dentistry, that's where you're going to find that Obi-Wan Kenobi Yagi. Uh, along with Dr. Stewart, Dr. Brandt, Dr. Williams, all the fine folks there at Advanced Family I don't know what that was, but that's all right. We're hunting in a deer tick. Right? Yeah, a deer tick. Uh, at Advanced Family Dinner State, have been voted best dental clinic in Ankeny for several years running. And there's a reason for that is because they treat everybody with dignity, respect, and they care about their patients. You'll find them at 907 North Ankeny Boulevard in Ankeny. If you want to give them a call for an appointment, 964-1490. That's 964 964- 1490 area code is 515 or you can check them out online anytime at inkinysmiles.com and when you leave they should say may the floss be with you that's what they should say so anyway uh i'm hoping he gets coffee mugs this year i've been bugging him for three years about that will you get some may the floss be with you coffee mugs man i think i'm all caught up gang how about that i think i'm all caught up that's exciting Perfect. Du- no. It was 9 o'clock, so there you go. Yeah. Got through it. Got a minute. Dustin, you did a great job today for Andrew. Thank you. Fun as always. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, what's going, what's the, anything big for the iCubs coming up? Um, We're just ready to start uh, Tuesday, April 2nd. We'll be ready. Hopefully you, it'll be sunny and 70, right? You guys ever do like any, uh, what do they call that hot stove stuff? The hot stove Like league? the off-season things? Or- yeah, you guys ever do anything about that? You know, pe- people come out and have like a hot stove day? We, uh, we haven't in the past, no. That'd be kind of fun to do. Yeah. You know, I, you guys should talk, talk about, up and, yeah, you know, talk about, you know, get some of the baseball guys out there and the, talk um, about some of the stuff going the, on with the team. The Cubs convention, I believe, is this week or next weekend. We'll go over to that in, in Chicago. So that's as close as we get to it. Not in town, but. Yeah. Well, that's all right. I've never, where did the term hot stove league come into? I don't know. I don't either. That's, a, I'm going to have to. I should know that one. Well, you should. You work at the Cubs. Yeah, that's. That's all right. That's pretty disappointing, isn't it? No, you're not disappointing. Yeah. All right, congratulations to our winner. If you're just tuning in, we just gave away an Ozonix 500 unit, and uh, that was our secret listener contest. I'll have another contest starting in two weeks. Then we still got the Wave Whackers contest going on on Tuesdays. Send me a screenshot of a show on Tuesday, and I'll put you in the drawing to have a set of Wave Whackers made custom for your boat. I'll be giving that away here in a few weeks, okay? so uh, And then after that, we got other stuff coming up, so... And I will have Deer Classic tickets to give away here pretty quick, too. So I'm out of here. We'll talk to you soon. If you need anything, just go to theoutdoorcallradio.com. That's the website. My email's right there. Or you can catch up with me here on Facebook. Until next time, God bless you. Be good to one another. We're all in it together. And get out there in the outdoors. See you, everybody. Bye! Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend. I appreciate you staying and visiting with me. I'll talk to you soon. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you.